down the outside of the golf cart. That's McKenzie. Two wheels out on the grass. What an overtake. If he can make this stick, he might go right around and lead this little bunch. Welcome to round four of the Queensland State Series at Morgan Park. This is race one. This was a crazy race. Having said that, this is the least exciting race of the weekend, even though my steering column snapped halfway through the race. Well, not halfway through, at the end of the race. Uh, the other races were even crazier, which is quite mind-blowing. Anyway, I'm doing a bit of warm-up at the moment. I've got to work on my warm-up. Uh, it cost me in this race. The other boys in front able to start and get really good first laps in because they're confident in their tyres warming. I'm not so much, so that's what I've got to work on. Also, getting through my gears quicker after I've taken off. I'm about to embarrassingly stall the car. Let's not worry about that. Okay, I managed to qualify in eighth position just behind the boys in the second pack, which was my aim for qualifying. So I was really stoked I was able to do that. And we're about to get ready for the start. Lights out, away we go. I got a really good start, especially compared to the ones I had last week. Unfortunately, I'm not moving through these gears as quickly as I'd like to, so not as good as I can be, and I'm really going to work on that for next round, as well as warming my tyres up so that that first lap I can be pushing as hard as I can. I need to be a lot closer to these boys as well. A um, little bit cautious, I guess, which is really works to my detriment because... I really need to be right up with them so that I've got the draft going up the back straight, especially so I can get away from the pack behind. Unfortunately, I am way, got a bit of a gap as you can see, I'm way too cautious going through here and also T-junction as well. I really should be way closer and I should be pushing hard through this corner so that I'm with that draft. I miss it. And Ed is right on my grill. I was a bit worried he was going to make a move going through the sweeper on the cold tyres. So I'm glad that he didn't. I knew once I got through the sweeper that he was going to make a move coming down my inside. So I had to leave him, <coughs> leave him room. He's uh, got very good on the brakes with that car. So he can brake quite late. He gets the move done. Jeff's quite close. I really don't want to get caught battling with Jeff because I want to finish as high up the order as possible. So as fun as it is battling with Jeff, I don't want to get caught doing it. I'd much rather be further up the pack. Maybe me and Ed can have a bit of a gap and then me and him can battle on the last couple of laps where we're not going to be in danger of being caught by him and losing a position ultimately. I'm quite annoyed at this stage that I'm so far behind. Realistically, I'm still in his draft. I need to just push up ahead. If I can push up ahead, I'm going to lose Jeff from my draft behind. And ultimately, that's just what I'm doing. I have a bit of a run on him here, but up ahead, you'll see a cloud of smoke. That's Mark going off the track. I think something happened with his brakes. He had his brakes fail. So he went straight off the track. I got caught napping a little bit looking at what was going on with him so I didn't get as good a run as what I could have. So I'm only just sort of in Jeff uh, in Ed's draft and Jeff is still in my draft. So back to just trying to push up on Ed as quickly as I can so I can get a Jeff out of my draft. So we'll just fast forward while I push up as fast as I can so that I can get close enough so I can make a move. I also want to be out, I uh, want Jeff to be out of my draft so that when I do make a move, uh, it's not going to slow us down so that Jeff's going to end up battling with us. So if he's still too close, I'd rather just sit behind Ed and just get a gap going and then make my move where it's not going to be have an issue with Jeff. I show 
add my nose here up. The idea is just to get him thinking about how close I am. So he's a bit worried about what I'm doing, which paid off. You could see he had a bit of a moment there, which gave me the run up here. He's going to cover off the inside. So I just wanted to do this corner as good as I could so that I could get a run on him. Luckily, he went a little bit wide and I knew that I was going to be able to make the move going into the right-hander of Siberia. I get the move done here. The move is done and now I just want to get through T-junction as quickly as possible so we can get away from Jeff and Ed pokes his nose up the inside. That was really kind of a crazy move by Ed. At best... He's going to slow us both down so that Jeff's going to have a run on us. At worst, he, we're going to touch tires and he's going to launch over the top of me and we're going to crash. Honestly, didn't think Ed would do something like that. I thought he would know that that's the most important corner on the track and we've got to do it quickly so that we can get out of the draft. So very surprised that he did that. It worked out okay for me because he managed to pull it up. He did quite well managing to not hit me. So now I just need to push as hard as I can. I was a little bit, uh, what's the word, not in shock, but uh, I guess rattled a little bit from that move that he did. So this lap that I do now is actually my slowest for the race. It was a 132, which unfortunately allows Ed to get back in my draft. And because he'd made that move, Jeff was able to be in his draft and stay in his draft. So all up, it didn't work out too well that he did that move. But ultimately, if I could have just had my eyes forward and pushed on, it would have been good for me because I would have been out of the draft and would have been safe as long as I was doing good laps for the rest of the race. Now I've settled down a little bit and just want to push on as hard as I can. So we're going to fast forward while I put in some good laps of uh, I think 131s. And we'll get to the bit where my steering column snaps. So pushing on. And here we go. So we'll have a look behind. You'll see that I've managed to get Ed just on the very edge of my draft. So I know that at this point, as long as I'm doing my 130s, I'm definitely going to finish ahead of Ed, which was my main focus after I screwed the start up and wasn't able to hang with the second pack. So I am really in the zone at this point. I am just absolutely pushing the car's right on its limit. I'm um, feeling the back end loose, loosen up a little bit on the corners and just really pushing as hard as I can, getting great lap times. I uh, managed to get around here really good, very happy. As I said, I'm just totally in the zone and unfortunately a freak occurrence happened. So heading down into Gumtree here, um, my exit, getting my apex right, and then just gearing up to get out as good as possible, and bang, my steering column snaps. Had to slam on the brakes to avoid that wall on the outside there. I'm lucky it happened just then and didn't happen like a second earlier. Here is another view of it, and you're going to be able to hear how much it shocked me that it happened. So there it is. And I'll let you listen to how shocked I was. So at this point, I didn't even actually know what had happened. Um, you see me, I take the steering wheel off and play with my steering column. I know something's going on because it didn't turn even though I was turning the wheel. 
it turned out the steering column just completely snapped my steering there's a sleeve that fits over the top of a solid metal bar and that sleeve is held on by a u-bolt where that u-bolt connected i guess it just um stressed the metal over time and that's where it snapped so i'll show you a picture right now that's the sleeve that fits over the other bit of metal so where that uh, hole is that's where the u-bolt fits on so it just snapped right there and i was very lucky and i was able to get it fixed one of the um bloke's sons was a welder he was there so what we did was we got rid of that smaller piece and the main bit, we slipped it down to the right position and then we just welded it on, as you're gonna see. So there's a weld there, the sleeves on, just welded on. So luckily this all got finished just before the next race and I was able to compete in the next race. The next three races are really, really cool races. So you're gonna not wanna miss them. So like and subscribe and I'll drop them probably in the next week. Thanks. Bye.